Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I will be discussing about the Gauss Jordan method. Previously, I have made video about the Gauss elimination method and uh, both the method Gauss elimination and Gauss Jordan are very important from the exam point of view. And uh, after watching this video, I hope this uh, you students will be able to solve any numerical related to Gauss Jordan method. So without wasting time, let's begin the solution. Here, I have selected a numerical which is 3x minus y plus 2z is equal to 2 well, x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 11, 2x minus 2y minus z is equal to 2 and uh, then this will be as x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 11 and 3x minus y plus 2z is equal to 2 well and this will be 2x minus 2y minus z is equal to 2 so now let's write this equation in the matrix form it will be written as 1 3 2 2 minus 1 minus 2 3 2 minus 1 and here it will be x y z equal to 11 2 well and 2 so uh, our first operation will be to make this term 0 0 0 this minus negative minus 1 negative 1 to positive 1 positive 1 and this all term to 0 so let's apply the first operation and uh, first operation in row 2 second this is our second row this is our third row and this is first row so let's apply the first operation this is this will be r2 implies r2 and uh, what how can we make this 0 if we subtract 3 from here so 3 or oh sorry r2 minus 3 r1 then it will become 0 so this will be 1 we are not doing any operation in first row so it will be written as it is 1 2 3 and here on subtracting 3 minus 3 into 1 it will be 0 minus 1 minus 3 into 2 it will be equal to uh, minus 7 minus 1 minus 3 into 2 minus 1 minus 6 it will be minus 7 and here it will be 2 minus 3 3 is a 9 so it will be equal to minus 7 and here uh, let's write it further it will be x y z and uh, here it will be 11 and uh, here it will be minus 21 on applying this operation here and uh, let's see now we will uh, apply the operation in third row as you can see in third row we have 2 and if we multiply this first row by 2 and then subtract uh, that from this third row it will be 0 so what we will write is r3 implies r3 minus 2 r1 means i am subtracting uh, uh subtracting from r3 that is 2 into r1 I am multiplying r1 by 2 and then subtracting it from r3 then our first term will obviously it will be 0 and uh, here minus 2 minus 2 into minus 2 it will be minus 6 and uh, this is going to be minus 7 and here r3 means 2 minus 2 into 11 2 minus 22 it will be equal to minus 20 now what we will need to do is we have to uh, make uh, this uh, uh, if I will divide this by minus 7 then our second term will be 1 so uh, if it, this will become 1 then our further operation will be easier as it is these two are 0 and it will become 1 then I will simply multiply this uh, as per the need and then I will change these two term so let's see how this is done. now divide this by minus 7 this this will be 0 1 1 0 minus 6 minus 7 z 3 minus 21 by minus 7 3 and this will be minus 20 now uh, time for the third row let's apply the operation in third row in third in third row what we need to do is we have to make this 0 then how can we make this 0 if i will add plus 6 here then i will write it r3 implies r3 plus 6 
R2 means I am multiplying this R2 by 6 and then I am adding it to R3 then it will become 0 so let's see how this is done I am not doing any operation in R1 and R2 so it will be as it is x y z is equal to 11 and 3 so let's see r3 plus 6 r2 0 plus 6 into 0 it will be 0 minus 6 plus 6 into 1 it will be 0 and uh, this minus 7 plus 6 into 1 this will be minus 1 and here minus 20 plus 6 into 3 this will be minus 2 now I have made this 0 and now I will make this minus 1 to plus 1 by dividing this by minus 1 and then I will change this 3 number to 0 as I said let's apply the operation this will be R3 I am applying the operation in R3 R3 implies R3 by minus 1 so it will be 1 so uh, I as the I had not ap applied any operation in R1 it will be as it is 1 2 3 0 1 1 0 0 and this it was minus 1 and uh, dividing it by minus 1 it will become positive 1 and here further it will be x as it is and here it will be 11 3 and this minus 2 will be turned changed into plus, plus 2 now let's apply the operation in uh, the equation and in r3 and let's change this number to 0 and they, then the further it will these two equation numbers will be changed into zero. now let's make this 1 into 0 then how it, this will be done if i will subtract 1 from here i will subtract minus 1 here then it will be 0 so r2 implies r2 minus r3 then it will be 0 let's see how this is done 0 1 2 3 as i no operation is applied in first row so it will be 0 operation is applied in second row so i am not going to write it here i will be first applying the operation here so r to 0 minus 0 it will be 0 0 minus oh sorry um, r to 1 minus 0 it will be 1 and 1 minus 1 it will be 0 x y z and here it will be 11 and r3 three minus 3 minus 2 it will be 1 and here it will be 2 and uh, now i what i need to do is i have to make this term 0 and this term 0 so let's see the operation our both the operation will be in first row so r1 implies r1 minus 2 r2 if i am multiplying r2 by 2 and then subtracting uh, from r1 then this 2 will become 0 so let's see here uh, 0 1 0 0 0 1 x y z is equal to 1 2 and here see this will be 1 1 minus 2 into 0 1 and here 2 minus 2 into 1 0 and uh, this will be 3 minus 2 into 0 this will be 3 and here 11 minus 2 into 1 this will be 9 now our final operation is to make this 3 to 0 and how can we make this 0 if I will multiply add sorry subtract 3 from here so multiply uh, r3 by 3 and then subtract from r1 then what I said r1 implies r1 minus 3 r3 it will be 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 x y z and this will be equal to 1 2 and 9 minus 6 it will be 3 now equate this 1 or oh sorry 1 into x x is equal to 3 and y 0 into x 0 1 into y y is equal to 1 and uh, here z is equal to 2 and uh, for check for checking for being make being sure whether the value you have got is true or right or wrong 
you can put this uh, value of x y z in any of the three equation and you will get the answer if the root are if these three are actually the root and so this three will satisfy the value so satisfy the equation and you will come to know that the the numerical which you solved are is right or wrong so i hope this video was helpful to all of you and uh, do share and like uh, and uh, if you want to get more videos related to civil engineering then let me know in the comment section and do subscribe my channel thank you and have a nice day